To install ENC permits, select Chart Loader from the menu. In the Chart Loading window, select Scan Drives. The ECTIS will automatically scan for the permits to be installed. The permit file will have been automatically detected and the ENC S63 permit box ticked. If not, tick the ENC S63 permit box on the screen. Please note, to only install ENC S63 permits, untick the already ticked ENC S63 data box, as well as any other permits, data or product boxes, for instance ARCS, or the ECTIS will scan both permits and data, resulting in unwanted error messages in the last report provided. Click OK to continue the installation. As the installation of the permit file is very quick, check the Process window, where a message will confirm that the S63 installation is done. The Status Indicator will show the interim results of the installation if the system detected any errors. The indicator will change to yellow if any errors are detected during data import. Should any critical errors be detected, the indicator will change to red and the affected data will not be imported. All messages and actions are recorded in the report file. This can be accessed, if required, via the Last Report button. The eGlobe G2 Ectis also gives users the option of downloading their data directly from the Chartworld FTP server. The eGlobe G2 Ectis is delivered customized with pre-configurations, allowing users to use this FTP server. This needs to be organized directly with the Ectis manufacturer. Once the updates are installed, these changes need to be applied to the eGlobe G2 Ectis. Click on Apply Changes in the Synchronization box. The system will display a progress bar plus related messages when applying the changes. When the changes have been applied, a message will be displayed in the process window to confirm the S63 installation is done.